Well, media education is a much more expansive and I think much more useful term than media literacy. Uh, media literacy uh, defines itself, at least the leaders in the field do, as being value neutral. Media education understands that you can use education of the media as a tool to turn people into media reformers, turn people into activists, and therefore it's, uh, it's a vital tool for every citizen in the country. Now here's the way we look at it. If you are interested in an issue, for example, let's say you're interested in the environment or women's rights, or let's say you're interested in um, media justice issues, all kinds of issues, whatever they are. We've identified 35 issues that are media related. Well, we don't think that you're going to solve those problems. We don't think you're gonna win at those issues unless you can get fairer media coverage. And well, that's not gonna happen in our corporate controlled, propaganda-centered media system. It's what we call big media, the big media monopoly. So, to have success with any issue, you need media reformers. Well, the only people that become media reformers are the media educated. Who else wants to reform the media except people that know a lot about the system? Well, we not only teach about the system, but we teach effective ways to media educate people. Kids, college kids, you know, ordinary citizens. That's our specialty. And, um, you know, that's one of the weakness of the media reform movement. Uh, they tend to be, you know, I don't want to stereotype them, but they tend to be kind of wonkish and they tend to not understand that uh, you really need to motivate people with media that education that entertains them, using media examples that entertain them, and you can't just be negative all the time. You got to be positive. You got to show the good side of media. You can just as easily teach people principles of media education with good, positive, inspirational examples as you can with showing them, you know, the, the seller of the media world.